Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have one exercise like on paper. So this equation 16 power sine square of 8 plus 16 power cosine square of 8 equal 10. You know how to solve this? Please pause my videos and do it. When you do it all this, please come back and watch my videos from begin to end to verify your solution. And now let's spend my time. We go to the solution together. And before we go to the solution, please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more exciting videos. Okay, now this equation, we have 16 and 16 in the basic. But in the exponent is trigonometry function. Now we know the rule that we have sine square of h plus cos sine square of h is equal to 1. So this, we use this rule so i can find sine square of it or also can find cosine square of it so this i find sine square of it that gets sine square of it is equal one minus cosine square of it so sine square of it i replace by one minus cosine square of it so this I can write it 16 power 1 minus cosine square of it plus 16 power cosine square of it equal 10. And now this we use the rule that we have a power m divided by a power n is equal a power m minus n. And so this, we can write it 16 divided by 16 power cosine square of it plus 16 power cosine square of it equal 10. Okay, now this, we see it 16 power cosine square of it and this 16 power cosine square of it. So now I let it equal t let t equal 16 power cosine square of 8 that t is positive number okay now we get this equation that have variable of t that's 16 divided by t plus t equal 10. And now I multiply both sides of this equation with t. So we get 16 plus t squared and equal 10t. And then I change 10t from the right hand side to the left hand side. So I get t squared and minus 10t plus 16 equal 0. And this t squares minus 10t, I can write minus 2t and minus 8t and plus 16 equal 0. Now we group it so we get t's and multiply t's minus 2 and minus 8 multiply t minus 2 and it equal 0. Okay, now it now we get t minus two is the same. So this we take it our factor. So we get t minus two and multiply t minus eight is equal to zero. So we get if two factors is equal to zero, we get 
one factor is equal to zero and this one factor is equal to zero and now we get t minus two equal to zero and we get t is equal to and this t minus eight equal to zero so we get t is equal to eight okay now from t equal to if t equal to so we get 16 power cosine square of x is equal to and now that we know 16 is equal to power 4 so we get 2 power 4 cosine square of x is equal to 2 so we know 2 is power 1 so that it have the same basic so we get simplify it so we get 4 cosine square of x is equal 1 and then I divide both sides of this equation with 4 so I get cosine square of x is equal 1 over 4 and we can find the values of cosine of x equal plus or minus square root of 1 over 4 and equal plus or minus 1 over 2 and now this we have two solution that if cosine of h equal 1 over 2 and cosine of h is equal minus 1 over 2 okay now this cos sine of h equal 1 over 2 we can write cos sine of h equal cos pi over 3 and then so we get h is equal plus or minus pi over 3 plus 2k pi that k is integer number and this we can write cos sine of h equal cos to pi divided by 3 and so we get h is equal plus or minus 2 pi divided by 3 and plus 2 k pi that k is integer number okay now we have the values of h that t is equal to and now we use t equal a so if t is equal a so get 16 power cosine square of a is equal a and now we get 2 power 4 cosine square of h equal 2 power 3 and then we simplify with 2 we get 4 cosine square of h equal 3 and now I divide both sides of this equation with 4 so we get cosine square of h equal 3 divided by 4 and then we get cosine of h equal plus or minus square root of 3 divided by 4 and equal plus or minus square root of 3 divided by 2 and now this we get the two of values of cosine so this we get cosine of it equal square root of 3 divided by 2 all cosine of it equal minus square root of 3 divided by 2 and so this we get cosine of it equal cosine of pi divided by 6 and then it is equal plus or minus pi divided by 6 and plus 2k pi that k is integer number and this also cosine of it is equals cosine of 
5 pi divide by 6. And now this we get 8 is equal plus or minus 5 pi divided by 6 and plus 2 k pi that k is integer number. Okay, so now we get the values of 8 that h equal this and this and this and this so thus we get find the value of h is equal thus h equal plus or minus pi divided by 3 plus 2k pi and h equal plus or minus 2 pi divided by 3 plus 2k pi and h equal plus or minus pi divided by 6 plus 2k pi and this h equal plus or minus 5 pi divided by 6 plus 2k pi then we know that k is integer number okay same for watching if you like my video Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Goodbye.